You know who the worst type of salesman is? A person who is trying to sell you something and they don't even believe in what they're selling. And the problem is, that's you. Child, the Holy Ghost put me in check today. I was like, I was feeling this pressure of like, well, let's just be clear. I am, I am about to hit, I'm gonna hit two, three streams of income. But one of my streams of income, I want it to be YouTube. And I was just feeling so much pressure. I was like, God, this has to work out. This has to work out. And I was watching this video and this girl was like doing content that you enjoy. And then I had to think about it. I was like, do I enjoy even doing my content? And I was like, oh snap, it's trying to happen again. If every time you do a video or even outside of content, if every time you are trying to pitch something and you feel like this sickening feeling in your stomach and you're feeling like these people aren't gonna like it, what are they gonna say about it? Um, they might not be feeling this, all this stuff. Yeah, the issue is you're still doing it for people and you're not even trying to do it for yourself. The issue is you don't even believe in what you are trying to do. You got the purpose, you got the, the passion behind it, but you don't have the confidence. And the Holy Ghost had to put me in check and say like, girl, you serve the creator who created you and all these other content creators. The difference is they believed in what they were trying to give off and you are just like letting fear trying to overtake you. So I had to tell myself like, girl, your stuff is good. I had to go look and listen to my videos. Yeah, I listen to my own videos and I like it. You know why? Because I appreciate the truth. I appreciate the wisdom. I love my content. And if you want to go to the next level with what you got going on, you have to appreciate, have the passion, love, believe, have the confidence, understand that this thing is actually work. It is essential. I believe that the truth is essential. I believe that without wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this world is going nowhere. My work is essential. It is something I believe in. It is something that is necessary. And before you decide to post another video, or before you decide to do another project, before you decide to do another blog post, before you decide to go canvassing on foot again, you have to make sure you are leaving that house with the confidence, with the belief, with, with believing that what you are giving, what you are trying to service a person with is absolutely necessary for them because it's necessary for you. And it's something that has changed you. So you have to have that confidence that, hey, it's going to change that person too. Like we be wanting for a lot of stuff. We desire after a lot of stuff, but are we going to believe for it or are we just going to want for it? So yeah. If nobody comes to my channel, if traction is not tractioning how I want it to traction, that's cool. I'm delivering myself. I believe in myself. And because of that, even if that person all the way back there don't show up to this channel, it's cool because I got like 500 other people, 600, 700, 800 other people coming to show up to this channel. And just because the person who's super popular and this and that ain't keen to what you're trying to put on is not following what you got, doesn't mean you quit. Like you, you are not, you are not working to please people. Check this. The people who begin to follow the calling of Christ, who begin to take up their cross and who begin to speak the gospel, they they was walking away from their nine to five. They was walking away from their jobs. They was walking away from all of that. They were even put in positions where they're like, man, I know that this is not gonna be the most popular message, but you know what they did? Because they believed in what they were speaking, they still gave the message. And whoever caught it, caught it. It was not their job to chase after the people who didn't believe. And that's the same for you. So if you're about to start believing in what you trying to do, your projects, your content, your, your, your t-shirt business, your, your, your own growth in your nine to five, if you're about to start believing in yourself and stop trying to people, please like this video and then put in a comment. I believe in myself. I got this. Encourage yourself. Like, come on now. Your stuff is good. My, say it to yourself. My stuff is good. It's good.